All right, we're in round four. We have to win the two next matches in a row to be able to break even. So, I don't know what we're playing against. This hand, I never liked the double neck those hands. Uh, that'll be turn one first, Utopia Sprawl, two mana on turn two, three. We can have Eternal Witness. I'd rather draw into something. Oh, do I trust myself to draw into something? No. I have at least three mana on turn two. We'll keep it. Oh. I don't like it. But we'll keep it. As a Temple of Silence. I'm starting to see Temple shows in a lot of modern decks nowadays, so... I don't really know. It's normally Ad Nauseam that I run them. Or it was. But I've seen him show up in token builds, too. Could also be that he's running the White Black Death and Taxes build, which so far this might be the case. Um. So we're going to play Kessig Wolf Run. And we're just going to run out the Eternal Witness and pass the turn. That way we don't have Bob swinging at us. That's another temple. Zayla's Persecution. So, we lost our Eternal Witness. So he swings at us with Bob anyway. I guess it's fine because we couldn't do much about it. Uh, there is one swift piece. So here we just pass. Swamp. He is just showing lands off to us. That happens every single time I play against Bob. I don't know if they're running Bob in 30 lands in the, all their decks, but it hurts. Layering Souls. Is he blocked by tokens? I don't know why to be running that if he was blocked by tokens. Cast that off double green. Nykthos will make us 3 mana. 4, 5. So we play Nykthos. We still have only five mana. The debate is do I cast it for two? No. We'll make him shuffle his graveyard. And I will search for a creature. Give me I wanna say eternal witness. But I don't. I want almost feel sulky. We'll say that. Again, you're revealing lands. Okay. 
probably going to take the Genesis Wave. At least I would. We can play a Primal Titan next turn, we're supporting a nothing. He's swinging out. He is. Another Z, that's Persecution. That's... 2, 4, 7. We'll get 7. I think I take seven. Yeah. That's a land. That's another land. Okay, that's fine, we still got our trigger. Give me a stomping ground, and Temple Garden, they're both going to be tapped. Again, he's still getting lands. I don't know if he's flooding, but this is not what we want to see. We're probably going to die to Birds of Paradise because he can just block with the Dark Confidant. Brain Oz. Okay. How much mana can we make? We can make a bunch of mana if we go for the Nectus next turn. <clears throat> so we have one, four, five, six devotion. Use two of it for another Nectus activation. That'll make us 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can give a creature plus 12. We'll do that. 6. Play with this. Keep this one. Activate it. 11, 12. We'll target this guy. We're gonna make him big, mean, and scary, and he's going to path the exile, and we're good to attack. He has to block it, otherwise he's dead. He will also have to answer a wistful sulky. He's going to stabilize up one life. 
and we're not going to have the board. We're dead. I hate playing against this deck. I really do. I honestly say we just want to make board versus them. Warship might do some good. But he also runs Flicker Wisp so he can get rid of it. Uh, the problem is that we're a combo deck, so there's really no way we can really do better. So I think we're just going to main board. Yes, I would love to play first. I do not like the hand, but it's serviceable. We'll have a turn two wistful silky to draw ourselves a card. Unless he get, makes us discard it. I think here we actually just do Arbor Elf Burning Tree. Yeah, that will cast Primal Titan next turn. That's fine. We'll make us discard Primal Titan. really prefer it if he wasn't making us discard our hand. I would really prefer it if he wasn't. That's a lingering souls, that's fine. That is fine. That's two Garricks.
can see the box. Is it double block or does he not bother? He's not going to bother. That'll be six, five. No, no. Where am I coming up with six and five? I don't know. I think he's going to attack Garrick with the birds. Yes, to keep him off the ultimate, that's fine. We're going to flash back, make some more. So, Garrick is going to be dead no matter what. So I think we just make a beast with him next turn. Unless we... Unless we get a Genesis Wave. Or an Eternal Witness. That is three of them. We'll make a beast. He's hitting a token? Okay. I don't mind having more mana. It'll also make it less likely for us to actually draw into a land, which is something we don't really need. I'd much rather draw than something big. Is he going to leave one back? Garrick is attack being attacked by two, and I'm being attacked by two. Okay. He can lose his dice tapped out now, so we can at least swing at him for a bunch if we don't draw anything. This changes things. So, one, two, three. Eternal Witness. Get back Genesis Wave. That'll be for four. Should be able to get something. So I have enough mana to cast a critter who can kill him. Unless he thought season makes me discard it. Which then I'll go into probably Genesis Wave.
Does he have a fog? Go swing at him for a bunch. Okay. That worked out. Works are might actually be the weak point here. Hmm. I'll go again. This is not really a keepable hand. No. Ouch. And I think we lose. I think we do. Bottom that, we don't need it. it happens. Probably should have kept the first hand. I could make. I could have at least done something. Must have got us started on getting somewhere. Maybe one, two, three mana. We will play Nekthos and we will play this so we have the devotion for Nekthos. He's going to tap up, play the Lingering Souls. That's a primal command. We're going to put that on top while we're going to search for a creature. This one will be Primeval Titan. Because we need to force our way into getting something going here, and he's the, really the best way to do it. I don't want to risk losing the Eternal Witness because I do need the Devotion. We lose it anyway. And we lose Garrick as well. And we draw Greater Hoof. One, two, three, four mana. I think we're just going to get beat down by spirit tokens. Yeah, we're going to get beat down. <laughs> oh. 
We need Bjerk. If we if you have another Zayla's persecution, I'm pretty sure we're dead. He is going to kick it, so I have to sacrifice a creature. We drew a land. That's not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, plus one or minus one. So I plus one, I have three devotions so I can activate three and do nothing. If I make a beast, I can block the gatekeeper reliably. But then Garrick dies. He won't be able to kill us the next turn, so I think I just plus and pass. <sighs> hmm. Being attacked by everything, so he dies again. If I draw a land, I can at least hard cast a Prime of the Titan. That gives me devotion. That's three. Three, four, five, still not enough to get anywhere. Yeah. Ooh, what are we doing at that point? Uh, pass. Yeah, I know, I have floating man. Give me access to casting prime time next turn so we can kill it. <sighs> Unless he forces me to discard it. Four, five, six, and six. Come on. Land is not going to do much for me. Okay. Well, it's not working out like I hoped. Not working out at all. I'll play match five for you guys, though. <laughs>